Hi, this is Keith from PharmacyTechStudy.com and this video is about a question that was asked on the Facebook page and it asks how many grams of a 2.5% H cream should be mixed with 360 grams of a 0.25% H cream to make a 1% H cream. And so looking at this, since we have a higher and a lower concentration to work with, we can use an allegation but there's a couple things that trip people up on this one and the first thing is decimals and the second thing is that there's a predetermined amount of one of the concentrations that you, and then you have to add the other um, concentration to it uh, to make your outcome um, of another concentration and so it's actually pretty easy though once you get a grasp on it let me show you here on the whiteboard so what we've got is We've got a 2.5%, let's pan out a little, and then we've also got a 0 0.25 to work with, and we know we're going to use an allegation, and then we want a 1% concentration as our uh, target. Okay, so um, you could take the decimals out by moving the decimal over in your worst case scenario number we'll call it and then do the same thing on these other ones but in this one it's pretty easy I think so I'm gonna leave them right where they're at so figuring the difference this way we get 0.75 and then figuring it this way we get 1.5 okay so now um, our predetermined amount of 360 grams is of this uh, 0 0.25 percent so I'm gonna put 360 there Okay, and so what we do is um, we can take that number and then divide it by this number here. So let's grab the calculator and do that. So we've got 360 divided by 1.5 is 240. Now we're going to multiply that by this top number. and that gives us 180. So that's going to be our answer. We need 180 grams of the 2.5. And um, so that's our answer. Another way you could do it is you could also see that um, 0.75 is exactly half of 1.5 and then you could uh, narrow down your ratio to a 1 to 2 and then so we know if the 2 is 360 grams, then the 1 would be half of that, which would be 180 grams. Um, so anyway, let's go back to the question, and it looks like the correct answer is C.